Hello YouTube, Dark Maven 1976 here with another video. In this video I will be going over wigs and some tips on how to buy your wigs, how to uh, care for your wigs, and maybe I'll even put one on. Who knows? Let's get started, shall we? So I you probably noticed the Sailor Moon forehead thing. Um, I wanted to test out my spirit gun to make sure I wasn't allergic before I decide to cosplay Princess Serenity at a photo shoot or something, um, I wanted to make sure that I can actually wear the forehead moon thing or I'm going to have to figure something else out. So far, it's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, wigs. You've got your character. You probably need a wig. Unless your hair looks like an anime character. And good for you. <laughs> I mean, anime characters are different range from like Naruto with the spikiness of it to uh, weird color hair. Purple, pink, blue, whatever. So, what I do is I research my uh, character online, get reference, <laughs> a lot of reference photos, especially of the hair. Then I go searching for the appropriate wig on one of my on one of my favorite sites, which is the Five Wits has been my favorite site for a wig. There's also Arda, um, eBay, Amazon, and uh, I can't remember. Uh, I'm sure there's another site somewhere. Or the you know cosplay foo or you know wherever you buy a cosplay from. Uh, I know um, Hello Cosplay does sell wigs. I'm not sure how good their wigs are because I never bought one from them. So, you need to uh, store your wigs. Here are some items that you'll probably need. A wig stand, which I have two. One is this really weird one here. I bought this from Milano. It doesn't work worth crap. It falls apart a lot. Um, what I like better is this. I bought this at Sally's. Um, you can also buy it at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. They're about five bucks. This helps store your wig and keep it nice and styled. Keep it styled. Now you probably need something to comb out your wig because wings do tend to tangle, especially if it's windy. It happens. Um, what I suggest is a wide tooth comb like this. I bought this from Amazon about $5.96. What I did was did a general search for wink, wink brushes and this is what came up. I did try to fix my Sailor Moon wig the first time around when it broke with a, uh, what I thought was a white tooth comb, but it just made it worse. That's why you need a white tooth comb. Also, you might need to put on your wig a wig cap. I bought this on Halloween time at, uh, my local Walmart. You can also buy them at, um, uh, Spirit of Halloween store or any Halloween store around Halloween. Also online, too. I paid $1.97. This is just the mesh one. I kind of like this one better than the other wig cap I have because the other wig cap I had kind of came off a lot, uh, even when I pinned it in. All right, so how to care for your wig? Um, I would put it on a wig stand and put a. I just dropped my wig comb. Hold on. Ah, sorry about that. A wig stand or, you know, uh, a wig head. Store it in a room. Put a plastic bag over it so dust won't get on it. Um, you can also keep it in the plastic bag that it comes in, like, uh, with this. I haven't taken these out yet, but like this. So I bought a couple more wigs from the five wits. This is a perfectly ordinary schoolgirl wig that I bought. It's in the bag. You can store them like this carefully, of course. 
and put them in some place safe. If, if you need to comb out your wig, which everybody does, um, I would leave it on a wig stand, but if you have a particularly nasty knot, what I would do is start from the bottom and work your way up. Sorry about the lighting, the sun's going down, I think. This is so, if your wig does have a nasty tangle in it, you can work it from the bottom up. If you just go up to bottom, whatever tangles that are on top will uh, accumulate at the bottom and make a nasty, gnarly mess. Now I'm just, I am just uh, coming out the Yuki Crash wig I got from Milano just for S and G's because I haven't done that since she moved and it got really nastily tangled. I haven't even worn this wig ever. <laughs> I don't know. Just because like that. When your wig is tangle free you could put it back on the stand, put a plastic bag over it, you know, just to keep the dust crap off of it and just be very careful <laughs> especially of pulling the fibers out of the wig you don't want to do that so other wig styling tips you probably if you're ambitious enough to style your own wig um, you can by the got to be hairline I've heard is the best to style the wig especially the if you're doing spikes and stuff like that um, also hair detangle if it is a pretty nasty tangle you could try hair detangling spray but remember uh, your hair is wig hair is synthetic not real hair so it doesn't work with the oils Tangling spray does work with the oils in your hair, but um, wig are don't have those oils. Another suggestion would be putting like um, using a fabric softener in a spray bottle with a water and spritzing it over the wig, and then um, just uh, leaving it on there for ten minutes and try to then gently comb out the wig then. Now most wigs are adjustable, meaning if you have a small head like mine, on the inside are these little tabs that look like bra straps, which you can put behind your head to uh, adjust for, adjust, you know, the size of it. I usually have to put it on like the last <laughs> really tight because I have a tiny head. Now you don't want to put it on too tight because then you'll end up getting a migraine and that sucks. And you don't want to put it on too loose because that's usually how the wig ends up falling off your head. So I'm going to try to demonstrate how to put on a wig. First wig cap. Let me take off my glass. Ah! I can't see. With this wig cap, I just... Ah. Let's see. Pull this up. I look like a scary dude right now. Scary person. Ah. Making sure all my hair is in the cut on my my wig cap. Now there are different color wig caps depending on your wig. Usually I have a bunch of bobby pins and stuff to get my hair in. You want your hair as flat as possible or else your bump will appear in the wig. You kinda suck. Usually I'll, usually I will pin my hair up with uh, hair clips and stuff like that, but I did not bring 
them from the bathroom. Now for the wig, I'll just use this one for an example. I'm going to dress wig. I'm going to adjust these to a bra strap things. Also, this is not my best wig. Okay, back to front, usually. Ah. <coughs> Looks like Cousin It. Make sure the wig cap is hidden. Take your comb if you have to, to, uh, oh, Lord. You can tell I've never worn this wig. <laughs> comb it out. I thought I had bangs, but, you know. Ah. And style accordingly. Have long brown hair. Ah. I don't know. This looks kind of not cool. Ah. Once you get your wig in place, make sure it doesn't fall off. You can always secure it with bobby pins or whatever. I'm going to put my glasses back on because I can't see. Oh, that's lovely. No. Bobby pins and whatnot. So, now I have long hair. Um, I usually buy my wigs from the Five Wits. I will have all the uh, information down in the bar of where I buy my wigs, or where you can buy your wigs. Um, like I said, you can also buy them from anime stores that you want to purchase, that you purchase your costumes from, mm. and other sites. But my main site is uh, Five Wits. They are good at. I would catch up. They are good at uh, wigs and telling you can now so at email them a photo of the wig character you the wig the character you want to um, do and they'll help you from there. Um there's Arda, like I said, eBay and others. So that's your basic wig. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Um, if you have, if you like this video, feel free to su subscribe. Um, I really hate this wig. <laughs> um, and a anything else, just leave a comment below. I hope you all have a good day, and until next time, cosplay safe. Bye!